So, John, let's move on and talk about a cleaner grid. You have a story in PB Magazine. The headline is, A Clean Grid Arrives as Renewables Replace Fossil Fuels. What's the story? Since sometime late in 2004, the United States has built no net new fossil fuels. And I have to talk about what that means. And if you scroll down just a tiny bit, you're going to see a nice chart. Um, so there it is right there. So if we look at the, uh, the red line, the red line is new fossil fuel capacity. The yellow line is retired fossil fuel capacity. Um, no, sorry. The Well, scroll down a little bit. Actually, no, it's right there. So new fossil fu fuel capacity is the blue line. The red line is retired. The yep. yellow line is subtracting retired from new. The green line underneath is the cumulative volume. So if you take all of the retired, all of the new, add them all together over the 15, 20 years here, you see that the green line crosses in late 2004. And what that means is that we've added, we've retired more fossils than we've added to the power grid since late 2004. So first off, that's cool. We haven't built any new fossils since 2004. Now we have built new, we built new gas and it's mostly replaced coal. And so with that, we've seen massive CO2 drops. But in addition to saying, you know, in addition to saying flat, we've also added hundreds, uh, almost 200 gigawatts of clean wind and solar within that time period. So we've seen, and it's in that article if people look at it, we've seen our our electricity usage roughly since um, 2011 has stayed flat in the United States between four and 4.2 uh, terawatt hours. But within that period, we've seen fossils go from 2.7 of that four down to 2.3-ish. So the volume of electricity generated by fossils, even while the amount of fossils have stayed flat, the amount of electricity they're generating is falling. And so it's been almost two decades of no new fossil facilities and only new wind and solar. And that has led to our power grid becoming significantly cleaner. And nuclear has been in there. Nuclear has stayed close to 20% of our electricity. It's actually down a little bit because we're retiring facilities and minimal new facilities have turned on. Luckily, uh, your wonderful state of Illinois has signed some documents to move forward to keep their nuclear facilities running. I personally want to see nuclear that's existing to keep running. But it's just cool to see that we've had no net new fossils. And the reason I was motivated by writing this article, and I've written it once or twice before, is that on a global scale, it might be that in 2020, the first time all growth of energy capacity was clean energy and all retirement was net negative. So what the United States has been doing since 2004 2020 might have seen it for the first time on a global scale. And that's something to feel positive about. So, so that, so there you go.